cools back by popular demand, my beautiful AR pistol with that newbie red curved hand grip with a seven inch barrel chambered in 556. Five, but hold up, doesn't the title say AR pistol chambered in 300 blackout? It can't be this pistol, right? <sighs> we got a new pickup, baby. Sort of, kind of a new pickup. Let's talk about it. Stay tuned. <music> What's up, Heat Nation? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for tuning in once again. Thank you for coming back and seeing what I've been up to because if you know me, you know that I'm always up to something, man. And if it's your first time tuning in, welcome to the channel. Please consider hitting that subscribe button because I got plenty more heat like this coming. And also, if you're looking for any good quality holsters or flashlights, my affiliate links will be pinned in the comment section Use my link, it'll definitely help the channel out. I also have a discount for the Olight store. 10% off your order. Hit that link, greatly appreciate it. All right, now that we done got that out the way, you seen from the title, we talking about a sort of new pickup today. AR pistol, chambered in 300 blackout, but not this one, well, sort of kind of this one. I got a brand new 300 blackout upper that I'm gonna put on this Diamondback DB15 lower. Well, before we go any further, let's clear the weapon. Now don't get me wrong, I love this pistol. It is beautiful, it shoots great. But one thing I noticed is that last time I shot it, I was at an outdoor range and I was shooting it for a while and it felt fine, it shot fine, it shot great. You know, and then I let my brother-in-law shoot it for a little while and I was standing behind him a little ways, you know, and whenever he started shooting it, I felt that concussion, that concussiveness, you know, I was like, whoa. It wasn't too bad, you know, because I guess, because it has this flash can on the front, most of it gets pushed out forward, so it's not that bad. But I did still feel it and it didn't feel good. So I could just imagine how it would feel if I would have had a muzzle break on it, <laughs> you know, at an indoor range for sure. So I was like, man, I don't know if I want to be that guy. And I remember the first video that I made with this one, whenever I was at the range with it, those first shots, they had a guy two lanes down from me. He was shooting a 762 by 39 with a seven inch barrel with a muzzle break on it. And whenever he would shoot that thing, the range was rocking. My head was killing me. I remember a couple of times they just really laid into it. Bam, 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 bam. I almost passed out. <laughs> you know, like, I don't want to be that guy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this 5.56 five, barrel off and save this for whenever I'm at an outdoor range. Because I primarily go to an indoor range. And I don't want to be in there shooting this thing, pissing people off. Well, that's one of the reasons why I went ahead and got a 300 blackout barrel instead. Let's get to it. Let's go ahead and unbox it and take a look at it. As you can see, it came from Palmetto State Armory. I got it on the daily deal for 270, so I couldn't pass that up. I was actually looking for a 300 blackout upper, and I got lucky enough to log on and find one on sale, so I had to jump on that. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. looks really good let's jump on the table so y'all can get a close-up look at this thing all right family this is the new 300 blackout upper from palmetto state armory it came in very good condition as you can see not one scratch on this baby everything looks good yeah i like it looks great and also I do have a brand new BCG from Palmetto State Armory as well. I actually had bought this a long time ago for the 5.56 upper, but I say, well, since this one don't come with a BCG or a charging handle, I'll go ahead and put the premium nickel boron BCG with Carpenter 158 bolts 
in the new 300 blackout upper. I think that's a good idea. Let's open it up and take a look. This baby is beautiful as well. Came in great condition. Not a nick or a scratch on this thing. All I have to do is get it oiled up a little bit and throw it in there. Looks great. I didn't get this on sale though. Whenever I was, whenever I bought this shoe, I think I paid full price, like right at 200 bucks for this thing, man. I didn't get lucky on this one like I did on the upper. So whatever, it is what it is. And I also have a charging handle from my 556 upper that I'm gonna put in here as well. The Radiant Raptor, of course, so I'm good to go. And also, would you look at this? I'm getting rid of the Newbie Red curved foregrip. I got a black one. I'm tired of people messing with me about that. I went ahead and got a black one before I have to punch somebody in the mouth. So now I'm gonna go ahead and install the new upper and everything else that was on the 556 upper and put it all on the new 300 blackout upper. I'm not gonna show all that cause that might take me a while. So, and most of y'all barely watch three minutes of a video, let alone 30 minutes. <laughs> so I'm gonna get all that done and then I'm gonna jump back in front of the camera and we're gonna take a look at it and talk about it. I'll see you in a bit. All right, family, finally made it back in front of the camera. I got everything installed. It looks great. I love it. The only thing I'm a little on the fence about is if I'm gonna keep this hand guard on it because I wasn't able to position it all the way back because of this little piece right here. It stops the hand guard from coming all the way back, but that's actually okay because I'm gonna hold it like this anyway. So, so I can still reach my pressure pad. I'm never gonna have it all the way up here anyway because I can't reach the pressure pad like that. So the sling mount won't be in the way. So I'm usually gonna hold it like this or like this anyway. So the placement is okay, but because of the way the handrail is made, I wasn't able to get it all the way flush. There's a slight gap in between, kind of like the, the old 556 barrel. I was able to get this one flush because there's nothing in the way blocking it. I was able to push it all the way back and get it all the way inside of the M-locks. And this is a wider hand guard too because they have a, a flash can on it so they had to go with a wider hand guard versus the 300 blackout upper with just a muzzle brake. They went with a lot slimmer of a hand guard so slightly different but still nice. I like it. I like it a lot actually. <laughs> I got the sling mounted on the side, sights on, the red dot, and my Streamlight Protac. This light is actually a little bit big for this small seven and a half inch barrel, especially with this smaller hand guard on it. I actually already have a new light on the way for this gun. I got a mod light, should be here any day now. Oh yeah, and I got the BCG installed as well with the Radiant Raptor too. So once I get the mod light in, in a few days, this thing will be 100% complete for now at least. Never know what I'm gonna do to it in the future. <laughs> might throw a godly trigger in that thing or something. Might, might give me a binary trigger in here, man. You never know with me. Of course, I got the folding brace. So whenever I wanna store it in my backpack, it fits just right. It actually looks really good with the Strike Industries black angled grip. I like it. I just wish it didn't have this little small piece right here. So I could have got it all the way back and had it flush, but we'll see how it goes. It still looks good, I think. Let me know what you think about it. Leave a comment down below. It has a slight gap. I'm gonna put it up to the camera, see if you can see it. I don't know if you can see that, but If you was able to see that gap, let me know what you think. But it's, it's definitely on there. But yeah, for now, we got the diamond back, DB15 lower with the Palmetto State Armory, 300 blackout upper. The barrel is seven and a half inches. I got several boxes of 300 blackout on the way. 
So as soon as they come in, we taking this baby to the range and we're gonna have some fun. See how she shoots, make sure we don't have no problems with it. They pass the test, we're gonna be good to go. Stay tuned for that video. If you liked anything about this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. Also, don't forget to leave a comment down below what you think about today's video. And if you didn't like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs down. Whatever, some of y'all been doing that anyway, so hey. I greatly appreciate any feedback you can give me. And if you like this type of content, definitely hit that subscribe button because I got plenty more heat like this coming. And don't forget about those affiliate links pinned in the comment section. I got some great quality Vetter holsters for you and some flashlights. So check that out in the comment section and hit that link. I would greatly appreciate it. And I got some good news. It's time for another giveaway. That information will be in the next video. Stay tuned for that. I'll let you know what you have to do to enter the giveaway. And I'll let you know what the prize is as well. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you in a few more days because I got plenty more heat coming. Heat Nation, until next time, we're going to holler.